Dear Civil Engineer, Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering with SM Hedaitullah. In this lecture, I am just going to show that how we will analyze the different types of trusts in CSS SAP 2000. Okay, so in your previous lecture, you know that already uh, I have started a uh, trust analysis session and I will analyze five, uh, five different types of trust and I hope if we analyze that different types of trust then all related problem about it will be solved so in this lecture I'm just going to show you that how we'll analyze the types of trust okay and we'll find out the Excel first then we'll find out a stress on that member will find out everything from here okay so let's start and uh, before starting if you're a civil engineer then must subscribe to our channel and also support us so first of all i'll open our software set 2000 version uh, and version 20 i'm using okay so actually uh, every version and its work procedure are same except some little difference so i'm just opening that software so here is our software now first of all i'll just simply click here new model and uh, actually every video I'm just doing same things then that's why I hope you will uh, understand that and uh, okay so first of all uh, here we have to select that unit so what will be the unit actually our uh, the length in meter and we can consider load in anything so we'll consider load in uh, okay uh, uh, keep okay so I'll consider the value of P that is to keep. Okay, so I'll just close that, and from here I'll just select. Uh, okay, a meter kilo. We can consider meter kilonewton. Okay, so here it's done. Kilonewton m uh, c. Okay, meter, and our load will be kilonewton, and our uh, length will be in meter. So it's done. Now I'll select only grid now what we'll do actually we'll uh, draw uh, what will be the x direction axis along x direction okay so here if i click it will be one two line three four and five so our total grid will be along uh, i mean our total grid uh, will be along uh, x direction that is five so i'll just come here and it will be Five, right so uh, I mean y direction or y direction it will be 1 and in x direction how much will be we are just calculating so in uh, x direction I will consider that one grid line okay I will consider one grid line and uh, after that I will work with that or I will uh, draw that point okay so uh, that will be 1.5 meter away and it will be one grid line also okay here one sorry are uh, two one and bottom on two so that will be two and uh, in x direction that is 1.2 meter right in x direction 1.2 meter and in z direction that is 1.5 meter so here in z direction 1.5 meter and will not consider about that um, y directional value it's done now i'll click okay so here is our member so i'll just make it in z exit axis so first of all we'll draw our truss here so as we are working here truss for as we're working for truss analysis so we'll not consider self weight of the truss and uh, we don't know which types of shape that is so we'll not consider that i'll simply select a section from here any section that's okay and here a state line and one thing we'll do moment release yes we'll do we'll consider that is pinned okay our every joint are in pin supported right because we know that truss are always in uh, pin supported okay that uh, connected with nut bolt so that will be pinned right so after that i'll just go here go here like that i'll draw our all point and here i'll uh, go for a point and here okay so then next so actually here is our uh, line and so after that we have to line uh, I, I mean we have to draw truss here 
but if you see here okay if you see here actually they have no option to uh, or they have no point here actually right they have no point so how we can do that how we can do that so they have many option actually we can divide that uh, line in same four part right we, have, we can divide that line in same four part otherwise we can do another thing we can uh, draw a uh, first we can draw a line so i'll just go here simply I'll draw a line here okay i'll draw here a line so from that point to that point i'll draw a line i'll just skip again i'll draw a line here right again i'll draw line here so what you can do we can delete the upper part of it right so how we'll do that so first of all i'll just go here edit sorry first we'll have to select first of all actually which frame will select i mean which frame will delete that will select first and with respect to which frame will um, i mean uh, divide that will select that after that we'll come here edit then edit lines divide frame and we'll select that second option break at intersection with selected joint state frame area and solid its right then apply so if we see here just see here they have a point actually we have a uh, we, we, we found if we select here that is only one line but here if we select here, that is uh, another and that is another so we'll delete the upper one right similarly first of all we'll select that one and we'll select that one and we'll click apply and from here just see here that have divided now again i will just select that one okay i will select the upper section and then that one then apply so here so just see here everything is okay right now we'll we have found it every frame in separate separate way so that's great and after that again we'll go ahead just we have to draw that line also okay i mean that uh, frame one two three so i'll just come here and again i'll take that i'll just simply delete that so here so from here to here again here to here and again from that point to that point just see it's done when our frame is okay now we'll go for load okay we'll assign load but before assigning load we'll just i'll do one thing because um, we have considered that our load will be i mean will not consider self weight of that structure so here self weight multiplier i'll give zero and then modify so here that is zero i mean when we will apply dead load then it will not consider self weight of that structure okay then okay and uh, after that where we have to apply load so if you see here in that point that joint that joint and that joint we will assign p keep load okay i mean uh, p kilo newton load that means i will uh, uh, consider uh, for that p that will be two okay i mean uh, the value of p will consider two so i'll consider that point that point and that point and we'll go assign sorry uh, before that we have to provide support so assign joint then restrain then from here here apply and from that point here apply so uh, it's done now i'll select that point that point that point because uh, in the three point our load system are same so i just go here and assign um joint load then forces and here it will be dead load and that is global and uh, it will be as our z will provide along z direction but uh, that is our z direction in, in upward but we will apply load on downward so we will just simply uh, force global z will simply consider minus 2 kilonewton right 
when one is two kilonewton then we'll apply so here our two kilonewton load is available right now for that point and that point it will be one kilonewton right minus one cos uh they have 0 0.0.5 0 p that means one so i'll just uh delete that or that work is done so i have selected that point and that point here i'll provide one kilonewton then apply so just see here our uh, at every point our load is okay now we'll go for analysis i'll simply click here run analysis and i'll not uh, run the model option so do not run and then go run analysis and i'll select trust analysis to the step actually i'm selecting i mean i'm doing with any name so here see that here is our frame deflection okay this is the value of deflection and it's uh, showing us how much deflection we can see here right so when uh, actually that is our frame deflection we can see our frame And now I'll just go here display then show uh, show joints okay we will we can see force arrow that apply just see here that is four that is uh, zero and uh, maybe that is four right so here that is our available forces on the two support right and I'll just close that after that i will display here show forces registers here and um, by using here or by using here or by using f8 you can use that option so i'll just click here f for that so for excel first we can see that this is the this is the value of excel force and in that side we are seeing that it's giving us maximum excel force that's why we have seen that here the deflection are more right and for shear s total apply just see here here is our shear force okay actually and the bottom frame they are taking the low share but the above frame they are taking more share and for share 3 3 just see they have no develop and moment 3 they have no moment and for a uh, moment here it's uh, taking huge moment that's why it's uh, deflecting more right so and for a stress and for a stress if you want to see for SS on just see here this is just actually what is the SS on SS stress 3 I've already discussed about that and if you need to about that you can read there uh, user manual and you will understand so SS1 control line so say this is the control line and uh, you can see that at which frame are taking how much uh, a stress from here right so actually it's done and uh, that was our lecture and in this way you can analyze your truss right and you can find out your uh, frame and actually if you need to know the value from that frame the right click on that frame and you will get your value here right you will get your value here at every point you will get your stress actually for what you want to find out you will get that so that is our video for today and in our next video i will show with you show you about another types of trust that how will analyze that and how will draw that so thank you thank you very much and also if you think that that's helpful for you then must subscribe to our channel and also share that video and leave a comment how was that video so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video